Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to create connection between Cloud Hub 2.0 private space and your private network using Transit Gateway. Let's start. I have a, created a private space named MyPS01 and uh, it is created under US East 2 region. And this is a CIDR block. 10.0.0.24 and here is the public DNS and here is the private DNS of the private space and I have a private network that is AWS BPC so I have created a BPC named on-prem 01 BPC and it's a CIDR is 10 0 0 0 slash 24. Let me show you this in a diagram. This block represent a cloud hub 2.0 where I have a private space. And this is a CIDR of private space 10 100 0 0 24. And that's what we saw here. So this is a CIDR US East 2 region. So this block representing private space, the CIDR 10, 100, 0, 0, 24. And uh, here is the AWS BPC. CIDR is 10, 0, 0, 0, 24. And that's representing this BPC, 10, 0, 0, 0, 24. And it's under US East 2 region. So it's in same region. This is the name of BPC. Now in this demo, I will create connection between my private space and AWS BPC. And I will use transit gateway to create the connection. This AWS BPC have a subnet and its subnet CIDR is 10.0.0.0 slash 26. Let me show that. So this is a subnet and it's the IDR is 0, .0, .0 slash 26. In this VPC inside subnet, I have created an EC2 instance and it's a Private IP is 10.0.0.35. Let me show that. So this is the EC2 instance. This is a subnet, on-prem subnet 01. And its private IP is 10.0.0.35. And this is a public address. I have connected to this EC2 instance using public IP address. So here I have connected to this 10.0.0.35. And inside this EC2, I have deployed a Spring Boot application and this application is running. Let me show you. So this is the endpoint. I'm using curl command to invoke this application. And this is the response. I have invoked this Spring Boot application using private IP and port 8082 and I'm getting response. Because it's deployed in this EC2 instance itself. Now I want to invoke this uh, Spring Boot application from inside a Mule application. And I have already created a Mule application, Spring Boot Client Mule app, where I'm invoking this uh, Spring Boot application. In this demo, I will show you how to invoke the Spring Boot application from inside the Mule application using private IP. Similarly, I have a Hello Mule application that's a greeting application. And this application we can invoke from browser or from uh, 
inside this EC2 instance using public DNS. But uh, to show the private connection, I will invoke this Mule application using private DNS inside the EC2. To invoke the any application that is deployed in private space using private DNS inside the AWS VPC, I have to create a private connection. Similarly, to invoke the any service that is deployed on AWS VPC using private IP, I need a connection between this private space and AWS VPC. There are multiple options are available that we can use to create the connection between private space and AWS VPC. But in this demo, I will show you how to create connection between private space and AWS VPC using Transit Gateway. So let me show you first the deployed application. We already saw the Spring Boot API. We can invoke here. It's running an EC2 instance. Now I will go to the any point platform applications. Here is the hello app. Slash hello. I'm getting response message hello from mule. And this is simple application path is slash hello and it's returning the message hello from mule let me invoke this application from ec2 carl slash hello i'm getting response Now I will invoke this using private DNS. And here you can see I am not getting response. It will time out after some time because I do not have any connection between private space and this AWS VPC at the moment. Let me show you the another application, Spring Boot client app, path is slash SV Spring Boot. And here I'm invoking the Spring Boot application using the private IP. And that's uh, the application that I exported. Let me export it again. I'm exporting in this uh, directory and this is the name of application. It's exported successfully. Choose file, upload file. So we just uh, exported 443, right now is 444. Apply changes, uploading file, let me go to the EC2 for still not timed out, okay, A Spring Boot client app is still uploading, it's uploaded, now it's applying the configuration. Okay, it's a wrong command. Let me give the space first here. Okay, we already have a space. Click enter. So here we are not getting response. That means we are not able to connect to the Hello app because we don't have any connection created between AWS VPC and the Cloud of 2.0 private space. This application has been deployed. Let me invoke this. 
slash sb so we are not getting response here because we don't have any connection after some time it will give the timeout error we will observe the timeout error a little later let me go to the diagram again now i will create a transit gateway so in this demo i will use the transit gateway that connect the mule private space and the aws bpc in same aws region and i have a private space and the aws bpc in this region so i'm going to create a transit gateway in us east to region itself so we got the timeout error here because we don't have connectivity between mule private space and the aws bpc or subnet that's why we are not able to connect to the spring boot service now i will go to the aws console i will search for transit gateway i will go to the transit gateway create transit gateway here i will keep everything as a default and i will click create transit gateway let me give the name here Zero one. Let me refresh it. It's still pending, and this is the region where I'm creating transit gateway. U.S. East two. So I'm creating the transit gateway in same region. Once transit gateway gets created, I will add a transit gateway attachment. so this transit gateway attachment i will create of uh, type bpc attachment this will connect this uh, bpc to this transit gateway let me refresh it again here so transit gateway has been created let me go to the transit gateway attachments i will click create transit gateway attachment i will give the name transit gateway attachment demo 01 i will select the transit gateway id so this is a transit gateway we just uh, created transit gateway demo 01 i will select that and transit gateway type i will select bpc because here i am creating the attachment of type bpc we want to attach the bpc aws bpc to this transit gateway so that's why i am selecting the bpc in this drop down the other options are there bpn peering connection and connect we can keep this field default bpc id i will select the bpc that we want to attach so this is the bpc on prem 01 bpc 10000/24 so i am selecting that so i'm going to attach this vpc using this transit gateway we can keep all other things default create transit gateway attachment right now it is in pending state it will take some time once is created this aws bpc can communicate to this transit gateway it is still pending now transit gateway has been created it is in available state so now this connectivity has been established now i will go to the private space i will go to the private space my ps01 and here i will create the connection i will select the connection type transit gateway add a new transit gateway 
आई विल गिव द नेम ट्रांजिट गेट वे डेमो जीरो नाइन जीरो एट टूडेज डेट टूडेज मंथ एंड टूडेज ईयर यू कैन गिव एनी नेम आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यूनिक नेम क्लिक नेक्स्ट हेयर वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द सी आई डी आर ब्लॉक ऑफ द ए डब्ल्यू एस बी पी सी दैट यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट यूजिंग ट्रांजिट गेट वे सो इन दिस केस we want to connect this private space to this aws bpc using transit gateway so we need to provide this cidr so i will enter this 10.0.0.0/24 click next now to share the resource because we need to share the resources between this aws account and here this is an another aws account so we need to create a resource share so i will click the link create resource share i will give the name mule resource share demo 01 and resource is a transit gateway we want to share transit gateway and this is a transit gateway that we want to share click next click next allow sharing with anyone you can keep default aws account so we need to give the account id of this aws account and we already got it here in this step so this is the account id that i will copy and i will paste here and i will click add so we got the account id aws account click next now i will click create resource share so we have created the resource share i will go to the next step a transit gateway next step click next here we have to add the resource share id and here we have to resource share owner so this is the resource share id let me copy it and owner is this is the owner so owner of this aws vpc account id of uh, this side of aws account click next now to finish the attaching vpc accept the attachment this process has been created a bpc attachment this this bpc attachment now we need to accept this bpc attachment and that's what it's saying it's pending acceptance and we have to check the resource id should be this i will go to the transit gateway attachment and i will see the attachment that is in a pending acceptance status transit gateway attachments so this is the attachment that we created here for this connectivity and it takes some time to reflect the another transit gateway attachment this one it takes 4 to 5 minute we have to wait 4 to 5 minute to get this transit gateway attachment in pending acceptance status so we can refresh it but it will take 4 to 5 minutes let me pause the video and i will come back when we can see the another record for transit gateway attachment okay we got the another record another transit gateway attachment record and it's in a pending acceptance state we can name it mule 
transit gateway attachment and I can go inside action let me check first uh, transit gateway owner ID it should be 1247 ending with 857 1247 ending with 857 so it's a same transit gateway attachment so we need to accept this accept transit gateway attachment accept so it's in a pending state it will be in available state in few minutes it is taking some time okay now it is uh, in available state that means we have a uh, attachment created vpc attachment created between this and this and that is accepted by aws account here so this attachment is also in a available state so we have attached the private space to the transit gateway and we attach the aws vpc to this transit gateway so now we can connect from this private space to this aws vpc let me go to the EC2 instance. So previous call was failed, failed to connect. It took some time, but we left it like that. And eventually it failed because at that time there was no connection was there. Now we attach the connection. Let me invoke it again. Still it is taking time. It not returning response. That means still some issue is there. Let me go to the Spring Boot client mule application and here I will invoke this again and this should be invoking this Spring Boot application and this also seems like taking time that means there is some issue eventually it will give the same error connection timeout. So still this uh, we have the transit gateway attachments we have transit gateway and we have transit gateway VPC attachment this side as well. Let me see the private space connection and it is an available. So it's all green. Still, we are not able to connect. So we have to find out what is missing. Let me go to the diagram. Here you can see that we have the routes and here also we have routes. So let me explain what this routes means. Local means any request coming inside this uh, AWS BPC will be searched inside the BPC itself locally. Any connectivity to the internet will go to the internet gateway. I have internet gateway already created. Let me show you. So here is an internet gateway, it attached to this VPC, this one. And let me show you the routing table. Here you can see the two routes. Anything that comes in this CIDR range will be searched inside the VPC and uh, anything outside that will go to the internet. So what we are missing here, we are missing the one more route that is for transit gateway. So we are missing this route. So any request that comes for 100.00 slash 24, where it should go? It should go to the transit gateway. So we need to get one more route here in our routing table. So let me edit the route, add route. Ten dot hundred dot zero dot zero slash twenty four. Any request that comes in this range should go to the transit gateway. And we are selecting this transit gateway that we just created. Save change. So our routing table updated successfully. Now we have route like this. So any request that comes in this CIDR range will be searched inside local, inside the VPC. 
any request that comes in this range, it will go to the transit gateway. So any request that comes in this range will go to the transit gateway and there it will find a connectivity to here and it will be able to connect to the application inside private space. Similarly, 10, 0, 0, 24, any application request will be searched inside this private space and any request that 10.0.0.0/24 will go to transit gateway and then it can find a way to this AWS VPC and it will be able to connect to the any application deployed inside AWS VPC. Let me show you the route table here in private space. So we'll go to the route table and here you can see that 10.0.0.0/24 the route locally and 10.0.0.0/24 will go to the transit gateway and rest will go to the internet and that's what we have here so 10.0.0/24 will go to the transit gateway now we have route table configured properly now we can invoke again and let's see if we have connectivity or not so because we just uh, added the routes and it's saved and we are able to see the response let's invoke again we got the response so connectivity is there similarly here so this was timed out we have to hit again and it should work this time we got the response so we have connectivity from uh, private space this application able to invoke the Spring Boot application. And here in this EC2 instance, I'm able to call the Hello Mill application. And this application, Hello Mule, I'm calling using the private DNS. Still, I'm getting the response. And here as well, as you can see, I'm invoking using the private IP of the Spring Boot application and I'm getting the response here. I'm not using the public IP anywhere. So public IP can be removed or uh, I can say public endpoint can be deleted both sides and still connectivity can be established using the private IP or private DNS because we have a created transit gateway we added the transit gateway attachment and uh, we added the routing table properly. So we established the connectivity using private DNS or private IP from the private space to the AWS VPC and uh, from AWS VPC to the private space. This is all in this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.